What's up, everybody? It's your boy Deontay Burton, aka Mr. Show Doll himself. Today we're going to discuss a subject or a question rather that I get asked all the time in regards to people that are setting up businesses. What is a DBA and should you file one? Um, I know a lot of times people start businesses up, they get the typical advice, get you an LLC, form a C Corp, get an S Corp. And a lot of the subject sometimes brought up to get a DBA and people really don't understand what a DBA is and what would be the decision making process to start that DBA. And we'll discuss that in today's video. First, what's a DBA? A DBA is a short acronym for doing business as. It's pretty much an alias for a company, it's trade, assumed or fictitious name. Most states require that you file or register your DBA. So what I mean by that, you, need, you have to have some kind of filing at the local, county, state level to say this is a DBA, this is something that you're doing business as. You can't just say, and this is under most states, say that, hey, I'm, uh, I'm doing business as. You have to have some kind of thing in writing where it's registered that a DBA is used for the business or services that you're providing. Why file a DBA? State or local laws may require a company that uses trade, assumed or fictitious name to register or file. Or register or file. Again, this is very important to know that everything varies from state to state because sometimes you can just go to your local place, the same place that you file your regular business license at the city or county level and register your DBA. Go to your local uh, clerk's office or the county clerk's office and do it. Do it at the state, but it varies from state to state where you would do it. But again, they need to know that this, that even though you're doing business as is not an uh, actual company, you have to have that registered somewhere, okay? Businesses that need to register a DBA, okay? And typically, it's just, you know, you don't have to do it if you're doing this, but this typically comes along with it. Those being sole proprietorships, franchise, or corporation, you know, a couple of quick examples. You may be saying um, a holding company or investment company, and you want to purchase some franchises. Um, it's nothing uncommon for Deontay Burden Investments or Deontay Burden Holdings, and I have you know three or four different pizza huts, and on the business license, you know, um, you know, it's even though that holding company owns it, I'm doing business as Deontay's Pizza, and I own each one of those different franchises under that particular name. You know, just getting you a chance to use a, a different petition name to do it. You don't have to promote that a uh, certain company owns it. And this happens very uh, a lot. A lot of major corporations, they don't necessarily let it be known that they own certain companies, but it's just more so using that alias name just to get a different footprint or get access to different markets, okay? Some advantages of a DBA. You get the opportunity to operate under a different name, business expansion, business banking, and it keeps your business legally compliant. You know, you sometimes look at a couple of these in regards to, you know, operate on a different name. Uh, one business may have a certain stigma or not necessarily the best reputation in one particular region or area, and it gives them an opportunity to get in other markets that they normally wouldn't get into because, again, they may be, you know, based on the East Coast and it may not necessarily be, you know, greeted as normally or well on the West Coast. And you can just get you a, a new name or a regional name and, you know, use that to be able to do business there. Um, it gets you opportunity, you know, to also uh, expand some of your operations in regards to just having, you know, instead of re-registering everything, you can just have a reset of a whole other company, I'm sorry, uh, uh, to do business. You can just register those DBAs to get little smaller subsidiaries and things like that. You see that a lot with... Um, uh, I know even some of the tax businesses, people get franchises, all these different uh, studies just happen that one, you have that one holding company and all the different little subsidiaries up under that, they're just DBAs for that. And they're just doing those operations and started setting up a whole separate entity with his own books. You can just have those little separate operations just being a simple DBA. Okay. How do you file a DBA? Like I said, requirements vary from state to state, but it usually isn't too complicated. Some you can go to your secretary of state. Some you can go under your local county or state government. Again, it's pretty simple, but it does vary from state to state. It's not just one holistic way of doing it. But uh, I would all, always start off if you know, know you can do a quick Google search, but also you can kind of, you know, maybe go to the, the office where you got your business license and they probably can direct you because I know even some places you would go to your uh, county clerk's office 
and doing it. But it's a very, very simple process with doing it. And it just, but, but it has to be registered because again, you have to have some kind of uh, uh, footprint or some, something registered where they can see, okay, that's what this, that's this person or that this, that is this particular company operating under that name, okay? And that was it pretty much in a nutshell in regards to, you know, what a DBA is and what should be your thought process in, in filing the DBA. Again, I'm Deontay Burton, a.k.a. Mr. Short Dollar himself. You know, Mr. Short Dollar, we talk about personal finance, entrepreneurship, real estate, investing, and business. We have over 300 videos on the YouTube channel. We have a grants playlist with over 150 grant opportunities for you guys to take advantage of. We cover business finance, business management, and business operations. And the best way to stay on top of all the great information that we have currently and all the great information we have coming down the pipe, hit that dollar sign in the bottom right-hand corner and make sure you hit the bell to get a notification each time we upload a new video. Talk to you soon and take care.